yeah, I guess the circumstances of Brax's life now mean that he's he, he kind of is is drawn to to Natalie and 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 the woman she is, and uh, you know, it's now that Danny ar- ar- arrives on the scene, he probably needs a bit of a bit of help more more than ever, and that was this the different thing about this relationship is where Brax and Charlie were kind of um these two from two completely d- different worlds. Natalie sort of ends up being such a massive help to Brax, particularly in the stuff that we've just filmed where he really needs a wingman. She's my wing woman. Wingman, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was always contestable. Who was who was who was leading who where? But, Look, um, yeah, exactly. No, they exactly. they help each other out and they complement each other and that's um you know, that's the cool thing. When Danny arrives, he needs help and there she is. Mm. She loves helping. She's it. a helper. She is a helper. When it comes to Leah, obviously, you know, another great looking, great looking woman yep. that caught his eye. But, uh, <laughs> and, you know, I just don't think, um, I don't know, it just, that was, that was never going to happen. She's best friends with Charlie. She lives where Charlie used to live. I think it would be a bit awkward. Yeah, just slightly. <laughs> there are a few things, a few hurdles in, in standing in the way of that one. But, um, you know, clean slate with this one. Yes. Yeah, there's a there's a scene with Ruby and Brax where she kind of gives him permission to um, to move on and 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 sort of tells him some things that he has probably been thinking for a long time, but probably was better to hear from someone else, especially someone like Ruby who who was so involved in in the Charlie and Brax thing. Obviously, she's her daughter, so she um, she sort of says, you know, I I know I'm going through this hard time. I know you're going through it too, and you can't blame yourself. You've got to You've got to you've got to let it go, and you've got to get on with your life because you know ultimately that's what Charlie would want. So there's a scene that comes up where I kind of um, suggested as the one of the few suggestions I've I've made for for the character, but maybe a scene where Brax finally gets to say what he wants to say. He didn't go to the funeral, and he he dealt with her death in his own way, which probably in hindsight wasn't the best way at all, but. There needed to be a moment where he could say goodbye to her, and while he he knows, you know, he's got this thing where he, um, you know, she's always present in in his life, and he had to kind of just say, well, you know, I've got to move on, and um, yeah, we mm. did that. There's a scene that you'll you'll see where he kind of gets a chance to do that, which I don't, I haven't seen it, but a few people said it it looked okay, so hopefully mm. it does the job. It was really important for Casey's character to have many different people to convince him that Danny was manipulating him because I don't think that he could really see that by himself. He was in such a dark place and um, and such a tortured place that he couldn't he couldn't see clearly. So it was great that Brax and Natalie could just come together and unite as a team, lead each other, <laughs> <laughs> and um, and get Casey to realise that that he was being played, ultimately. Mm, exactly what I told him was going to happen was happening. Exactly what Natalie told him <sighs> as well. <laughs> I told him first. I told him last, so... Mm, but the first one counts. <clears throat> the last one was what made him change his mind. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, it was, it was really important for him, definitely. Yeah, I've really enjoyed the storyline. There's lots of exciting things coming up, definitely. I've really enjoyed the yeah the new direction that Brax's life has taken, and and you know Natalie is sort of she's almost central to it. Um, so it just it's another side of Brax that the audience you know is going to see. And Catherine, I don't like her personally. She's been hor- horrible to work with, very unprofessional. <laughs> no, she's great. It's so nice to have. I might just quit now. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember how it was when I when I walked on the set and I couldn't believe how much confidence, not in an arrogant kind of way, but she just walked on and just, just picked up the character perfectly and it was I got to audition with her um, when when she was going for the role and she just brought all this new energy and enthusiasm to the to the set and everyone loves working with her already, which says something because... Oh, everyone's easy to work with. That's all it is, everyone's... That's what you're supposed to say. Everyone likes working with you too. So. No, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> no, she's great. We have a, we have a lot great. of fun. 